Hey, it's Katrina Sawa here with Jumpstart Your Biz Now and Jumpstart Publishing. And I want to talk to you today about creating your happiest life ever. What do I mean by that? Well, it's kind of clear and self-explanatory, of course, but how do you do that? How do you create your happiest life ever? You see, people always think, Oh, Katrina, you just give me tips on my business or my marketing or my website or books. But really, my goal is to help you create your happiest life ever. That is the number one goal. That is the reason behind everything that I do. I want people to live happier, more joyful, fulfilled, love-filled lives. And that is my underlying reason for doing everything. And in case you didn't know that, I'm not just making that up. I've been doing this for years and years and years. And, but sometimes I come out of the gate, you know, like a fire hose and say, okay, here's all the things you need to do on your website. Here's what you need to do in your speaking or at a live event, right? I get that. I get that. But I want to talk about the underlying reason for all of that today, which is having complete 100% faith in yourself. We have to ditch the fear and embrace your faith. Not necessarily faith in God, but you can have faith in God. I'm talking about a different kind of faith here. I'm talking about a faith truly in you, not a faith in God and he'll make it happen or she'll make it happen, right? It's not about that. It's faith in yourself, which I think is harder, especially for those uh, who do have faith in, the, in a religion type of faith. Uh, faith in yourself that it'll all work out in the end. That's what I have said from day one in my business, whether I knew what I was actually saying or not, I didn't in the beginning. Although it's funny because the very first chapter that I wrote in the very first book that I wrote in, which was Love Yourself, uh, The Power and Soul Book with Allie Brown, um, my chapter was entitled, It'll All Work Out in the End. Somehow, some way, I knew back then, 20 something years ago, that faith was the key to getting where I wanted to go, to getting what I wanted in life, to having a fulfilled love relationship, to having a successful money making business. And I'm telling you that reflecting back on that, just over the last, you know, I sat down this morning and I thought, okay, what is the real. Thing that has transformed my business, my life, gotten where I wanted to go. It is believing in myself and having 100% faith in myself. Now, don't get me wrong. I doubt. I have fears. I have doubts. I question things that I do. I have regrets. I have, you know, challenges just like you, but I still have to wake up in the morning and say, I trust it's all going to work out in the end. In fact, my husband says that back to me now because I've been saying it for so many years uh, since I've known him that he actually says it to me when I'm feeling a little doubtful. So it's it's a household thing now, which is a good thing because we when he has doubts, I have the faith. When I have doubts, he has the faith. And so it all does really work itself out. Um, so I have an acronym for faith and I want to share that with you. And hopefully you can glean a little insight around your own life to creating your happiest life ever. So um, I have a new, well, I have a new name for my mastermind retreats. They're the Jumpstart Your Lifestyle and Business Growth Retreats. The reason I changed it, because I want, I want you to build the business around the kind of life you want to live. I want you to live a happy life. I want you to set good boundaries so that you can uh, really pamper yourself and take care of yourself. I want you to have lots of time with loved ones, family, friends. Um, I want you to have more freedom. I want you to design this business so that it brings you a lot of money so that the money does provide what you want in your life, right? Depending, we all have different goals. But we do have to, I mean, money does make the world go around. So if you're not too crazy about embracing 
money and wanting more money, then that's something I would really urge you to work on in this coming year is wanting more and believing that it's okay to want more. It's okay to want. It's okay to want. It's okay to desire. It's okay to have goals for more. So the Jumpstart Your Lifestyle and Business Growth Retreats and events and things that I do is designed to make you want more, believe that it's possible, have faith that it'll work out in the end, and then really put those actions in place so that you can actually achieve what it is you want. So the FAITH acronym is, the F is stands for a fun and bold, authentic brand. Fun and bold, authentic brand. Not a meek, um, you know, insignificant brand. It doesn't have to be an expensive brand. It's just the branding to me is more the messaging. I'm all about the jumpstart, right? The jumpstart is my brand. I jumpstart people in many areas of their life and business. I jumpstart their love life. I jumpstart their, uh, their speaking, their book, their website, their next level, um, you know? So that's my brand. It's let's get in and do something about it and get to that next step right? That's my brand. So what is your fun and bold, authentic brand say about you, right? So look at that. The A in faith is assertive spirit, assertive spirit. Why do you have to have an assertive spirit? Because if you don't, if you aren't assertive and that means you're not taking a lot of action, right? That means you're kind of just sitting back and, you know, setting an intention and hoping it'll all work out. And yes, I do. I am saying that we have to trust and have faith that it'll all work out in the end, but we also have to do assertive things. Like today, I'm doing this video first thing in the morning before I check my email, before I did anything. Um, but what is on my agenda today, besides meeting with some amazing clients and some other uh, fun folks that I am have on my schedule, I am making phone calls. And I'm saying this to you, like, I'm making phone calls because I honestly, I'm not a fan of making phone calls either, just like you probably aren't, right? I have to call and follow up with people. I have to call and find some amazing sponsors for my January uh, Business Reimagine conference. I have to do those fun, exciting things. Yes, we have to make marketing and sales fun. And so once I get on a roll, it's usually okay. But it's just that initial getting going, right? I get it. So I have to have that assertive spirit today. So what am I doing? I'm proclaiming to you, and I'm going to put this out there, that this is what I'm doing. So that I know there's hundreds, maybe thousands, I don't know, that are watching this and going, ah, Katrina's going to make her phone calls. Maybe that'll inspire you to make your phone calls. I don't know. And I'll have to report in at the end of the week and let you know how I did. <laughs> but I have a goal of getting at least $5,000 in sponsorships this week. So that's my assertive spirit. And I can't let excuses and uh, procrastination or distractions get in my way. So that assertive spirit is the stuff that makes you get stuff done regardless of what's going on in your life or world, okay? So for F is fun and bold, authentic brand. A is assertive spirit. This is all to help you jumpstart your lifestyle and give you more business growth, right? So the I is intuitive approach. Intuitive approach. Why do I say that? Well, I think the most successful years that I've had in my business, I was listening to my gut. I was, I would sit for a second. I'm not the type of person that has to sit and think on something for a day, a week, a couple hours. I, I literally can sit and go, okay, am I going to do this? Or am I going to do that? Or how am I going to do the blah, blah, blah. And then boom, the instant download comes usually. And so I get that hit right away. If you're not that kind of person, I get it might take a little longer, but don't let it take too long. That's where the assertive spirit has to come in, right? But the intuitive approach is really tapping into, okay, is this the right path? Is this the right next step? Is this the right thing that I need to be doing right now? Yes or no, 
right? If it sounds good, if it feels good, if it feels like the next thing, don't doubt yourself, just do it. Now, could it be end up being like the wrong step? There is no wrong step. Every step is going to get you to your destination if you keep taking those steps, right? You just might have to course correct a little bit. Uh, so intuitive approach, as long as you feel like it's the right step, you take it, right? And then when you get there, you evaluate again. And then you're like, okay, now where are you? Oh, I need to go over here now. Okay, and then you take that. So just tapping into that intuition and that knowing, um, that doesn't mean you're gonna know how to do everything, right? We don't know how, we still have to learn and hire people to teach us stuff, right? I get that. So I'm not saying that you're gonna tap in and get all this knowledge, like all the how-to of every step you need to take. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is like, if your intuition is telling you that, Yes, this coming year is the year for you to host your own live event or to start a membership or to take more vacations with your family or whatever that is, you know, work out, lose weight, um, finally uh, start a podcast, whatever, whatever that intuition is telling you. Okay, great. Then take that and let's build a plan around that. Okay. So intuitive approach is, is the I in faith. Then T is trust and love ourself, right? Yourself. Trust and love. I got to trust and love myself along the way. I've got to give myself grace uh, for mishaps and, you know, a delayed response or a little bit of procrastination, uh, perhaps, or give myself grace. Like if you're sick or you have to take care of somebody. Okay. So that week's gone. No big deal. Just check it off and keep going, right? You can't sit in uh, dwelling on, oh, woe is me. Oh, I ruined everything. Oh, it was such a horrible thing or I failed or, ah, no. Give yourself grace. Give yourself permission to make mistakes. Give yourself permission to just do things messy, right? You can't, you can't always wait for perfection. Sometimes you have to just do things messy <laughs> and, and, and then just keep correcting and course correcting. If you wait until everything's perfect, you'll never launch that program. You'll never launch that po podcast. You probably won't um, create the event. You know what I'm saying? So it, just do things messy, trust and love yourself to give you grace, give you permission uh, forgive yourself for mistakes. Don't be resentful and don't be guilt ridden, but forgive yourself and move on, right? You're not perfect. It's not a perfect uh, world we live in, right? Outside influences can affect us too, but still please just trust and love yourself always because you have to stay in that energy. You have to stay in that love energy. All right. And then the H in faith is creating your happiest lifestyle ever action plan, right? I'm all about action, right? You know, about the jump start. So how do you jumpstart your faith? Well, you create that action plan. Once you have that brand and that messaging and that thought process and who it's for, and you get that assertive spirit, right? Okay, I'm ready to go. Let's go. And then you've got that intuitive thinking, okay, I'm going to do these things, right? And then you trust and love yourself. It's all going to work itself out in the end. I, I'm not perfect, but I'm going to go and do this thing and I'm just going to do it. And the right people are going to come and find me and like me. And so it's creating that, those action steps. Okay. What does that need to do? Now you may not, you, you may not know all those steps, right? I get that. We don't always know the how, we don't always know the next step. That's why people hire me and other people, you know, is because sometimes you need a little guidance, but at least if you have clarity around those other areas, you can go in and speak with somebody and say, okay, I'm this, 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 or this, what are the steps I need to take and how do I get there? Right. Okay, great. When someone comes to me with that kind of clarity, I'm like, perfect. Da, 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 da. Here's your UI, your order of importance, your order of importance, your UI, I call it O O I. Right. Here's your UI on your market set go. Right. And it's just simpler. It's faster. It's simpler. It gets you to that ultimate uh, lifestyle that you desire sooner than later. Um, it gets you to that business growth. Um, you, you've heard me say this, I'm sure that. Just, I'm so, 
passionate about helping you get more love in your life, love for yourself, love with a significant other, love for what you're doing, love in your environment, getting rid of toxic people, love for yourself, and then money in your business. Because money is going to fuel your desires, your needs, your wants, your lifestyle, uh, the goals that you have. Money is going to fuel that. And it's, you know, you can, I don't care if you don't need money, just give it all away. But more people that are doing good in the world, if more people that are doing good, make more money, the world is going to be a better place, right? So please, if you're a good person, please focus on making more money in your business so that you can spread it around. It's a ripple effect, right? So, all right. So I hope this has given you some, um, inspiration and maybe some even some ideas on how to ditch the fear embrace your faith so that you can create your happiest life ever uh this is katrina sawa and uh jump, you can find me at jumpstartyourbiznow.com happy to have a conversation and happy holidays <music>